up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Shut up. My senpai told me it was a third year since so he found the body. Go away. Y yo. Um. It's a. Uh, it's not really that important. Is it about the TV? Well, yesterday on TV, I. Uh, oh, I, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? No. Saki Senpai, supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today? Yukiko. Alright, that's her name. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Bye. Is it just me or does Yukiko san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. <gasps> By the way, did you see it last night? No. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. Lesbian. What? My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Lesbian. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Lesbian. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? Ooh, polygamy. I know? It's like we're going to have an open like relationship. You, you, see it? you told him about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger, then... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? All right. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You. Assholes, I trusted y'all with a secret and y'all just laugh in my face. Junae's electronics department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? Rich people. I don't know. Yeah, Rich see, folks? he's got, he's, he's Honestly, guy. not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Not worth trying, then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Keep your hands off the product, please. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. It needs, it's not the same. It has to happen Besides, at midnight during TVs rain. So thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? Well, that's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With the TV this big, you really might be able to go, in the, to go inside. Oh! Oh yeah, 
what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? <laughs> is his arm in the TV? <laughs> Whoa. He's actually working. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? Oh yeah, the new function allows you to go inside Hell of it. No. Stargate technology. You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it See work, you bitches huh? later, I'm What's going to TV see? land. First stop the porn channels. <laughs> hey, don't do that! What are you doing? I'm going to TV land, bitches. Oh my god! I'm off to Narnia. What do you mean inside? What do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Are you gonna piss yourself? What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? Oh, jeez. I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't. No, come into TV land and pee. Customers, they're coming! What, boo? We got a guy half stuck in a TV here. Don't worry, it's just a magic what trick. What are we gonna do? Wait! Oh. Ah! We're off to Narnia. Fuck TV land, I'm going to Narnia. <laughs> Oh, did they all land on their heads? I landed right on my wallet. Man, where are we? What, what is this place? Some someplace inside Janice? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Right? Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. All right. I think my butt's cracked now. Your butt already has a crack in it. Of course it is. Whoa. What, what now? Did you wet your pants again? Did you wet your pants again? Around. We're on a stage. Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or, or is it smoke? It's fog. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? No, no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Um. Yeah, it's up to you. What are you talking about? Look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? I don't see a way in. We um or out. we came in from the roof. We did fall. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Let's calm down. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. Alright. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Is there a calendar in here? This place it feels different from where we were before. 
looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Seems there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Alright, let's go. Wom 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 wom. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? It's because we're inside. No service. What a surprise. Where's the girl? Can't you guys okay. slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. Go pee in the corner. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. You're gonna get a bladder infection. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. If you hear the TV's audio this coming into my microphone, I'm sorry. Must really it's, hate this person. it's just that I'm wearing my headphones and... Uh, I can barely hear it. Just chair and rope? That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Maybe the only way to get out is to commit suicide. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I am sick of this place! And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. <sighs> Wait, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. I finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is terrifying. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Mysterious bear. It is a bear. <gasps> it talked! Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? Let's tussle. Don't yell at me like that. What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us what like that? What gives you the right to yell at him? Where are you? Where are we? What the heck's going on here? He already said what he is. He's a bear. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. Why do we get back? What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. <sighs> That's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Well, where did 
did these TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa, hey, what, what are you doing? Stop pushing! Are we gonna wind up back in the back in the store? Oh, yep. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? Yep, it appears we have. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? No. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe huh. what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. Back. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Uh, she discovered the body. She wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh, but we she was so nice. We've looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Yeah, baby. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored teenage that she'll daughter who is also spring. of if age. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, <laughs> it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. News continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagami Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Kanoshi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Shut up. Give it some more time. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, he's sick. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Do 
you should get to bed after you take it. No food? Finally, no more of that stupid song. People who are sick should stay in bed. That's There's fog today. You should go to sleep early or you'll catch a code. Code. You'll catch a code. You should go straight to bed tonight. You should bring it blah 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 blah. I think I'm gonna save and get off. I'm gonna edit all this and get some food because I'm actually really hungry. <laughs>